Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Fisher Grills. We're at Kaikalo's farm. He just shows us tower patch, take us around, show us some cool stuff, eat some delicious snacks, boo. Hope y'all stick around. Stay tuned. For this episode of Fishing Girls! Yeah! Woohoo! Grab the net, where's the net? Where's the net? Oh ho ho ho! Woo! Two, one monster! One monster! Look at that! Follow up, follow up, follow up! Oh! Woo! Look at that, look at that. Woo! Yes, sir. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So we're going to use this Vecchi Ula for two days lao lao. I'm just going to flay it up, cut it into nice sized chunks, throw it in a lao lao, steam it up for the boys. I'm gonna scale it first. Aloha and welcome to another adventure of Fish and Grills. It's gonna be a fun episode. We're gonna go head out and hang out with our friend Ikaika at his farm. Now this fish is a Veke Ula. Its colors are light pink with yellow hues and it has a long yellow band extending from the eye to the base of the tail. This fish also becomes more reddish when it's dead. The Veke Ula is known to grow up to 16 inches and can weigh up to about 2 pounds. They're mostly found in reef areas, generally in depths of 20 to 200 feet. It's a nocturnal fish that eats small worms and other crustaceans. and can be spotted in large schools during the day. Alright, so our head and skeletons collection is building up. Time to make some soup for the next one. Stay tuned. <laughs> The Veke Ula is also part of the goatfish family, as you can tell by its whiskers right there. Oh. It's pretty delicious and we're gonna make some fish lao lao with it. So stick around. There, all this goodness right there. Ah, see that? The grip strength here quick. Ah. I don't wanna break that one. One lao lao. That's <laughs> <laughs> one lao lao. This is two lao laos. Three lao laos. Four, five lao laos. Six, seven, eight lao laos with just one side. The pork belly we're gonna add to the lao laos. Real quick. Step boom. Right there. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. And I was cutting up this pork with scissors just like that. <laughs> this is the Hawaiian sweet potato. We're gonna keep them up and throw them in the lao laos. So this one, we're gonna make a Chevy style. So pork, we get the fish, one slap, just like that, a little bit of this salt. Hawaiian coconut milk. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Wrap them tight. 
Boom, grab on foil. Just like that. Okay. All right, looks like we got everything ready. Now we're gonna go meet up with Kai and Ikaika up at the Taro Farm. All so right, let's head down. See you guys there. Hello, All right, we just made it to the farm with the boys. Nice to meet you, Kai Kai. Kaika. All right, we finally made it here. We're gonna go check out the farm. I believe that's it, right? Yeah. Or all around? Yeah. All around. All around. All right, let's check it. it out. So this is the ones we made earlier. And we're gonna get some of those leaves and make some more after we get some more ingredients. One, la la, two, la la, three, la la, four, la la, la la. I don't know, we can't fit any more lalos in here. Stuff will move. Ah, run it. Okay, hour and a half. We're gonna check out the farm. Meet you back over here. Mm -hmm. Barefoot and all. I wanna rush it up. Oh, get some momentum. I want it, bro. Please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it's a good content. My good name content. is Kai Alcahele. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Weird one. Yeah. That's too steep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not enough horsepower. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to this. Welcome to this. Those are like uh, yeah. two, three thousand uh, pounders. They're massive. <laughs> My pig scares like thousand pounders. Oh jeez. <laughs> Those are massive animals. <laughs> Water buffalo. These guys pull plows in the patches because when there's water in the patch, it's too muddy for a tractor to like go through without getting stuck. So these guys are really strong and we borrow their strength to plow. So it's not horsepower, it's water buffalo power. <laughs> the natural bulldozers. <laughs> Literally. Oh, Look how big these don't guys Don't stick are. your finger and yeah, break your finger when it rubs this. <laughs> you guys can tell me that because these grass all there. I think the grass smells like when it's fermented. Yeah. Yeah. And then it went under the fence. It pooped under the fence? Wow. <laughs> Water buffalo. Buffalo soldier. Some boys. Hey, buddy. Some big boys. Ah, some kalua right there. Right here, the stream is our Awai, and it starts pretty far up in the mountain. So, if you're familiar with this road up there, there's a pond that is um they have blocked off because people aren't supposed to go up there, but it's a popular hiking spot. So up there, there's um a dam that diverts water from the main river to this little stream right here, and then this feeds all of our patches and then all the farms below us too. Fresh. Nine months to a year. Yeah. For one for one full cycle, I guess, yeah? Yeah. But Nine there is varieties that grow like like six months, but yeah, I don't grow. Short season, long season yeah, kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see what he's doing? He's ripping off the roots. And you see that the ball right there? Yeah. That's where poi comes from. Yeah. This guy more Hawaiian than me, didn't know where Poi came from. He's like, oh, the store? <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people don't know where it comes from. Nowadays. You'd be surprised. So how do you know which ones do poop? I'm just looking for, so there's kind of, when you plant them, 
the main one that you plant kind of becomes like a makua and then it kind of shoots off like little offspring and then that's typically the biggest one so the makua one that one kind of helps the rest of the patch grows yeah the the ones that come off the makua is called the oha like the little cakey and how would you um how would you replant it when you when you start a new cycle uh i'm gonna cut off the corm and then cut off the leaves and then you'll be left with the stalk so the stalk will regrow a whole yeah. other yeah yeah i'm gonna regrow from the stream roger crash regrow <laughs> And the water crash is going wild just along. Nice, nice. Have a good day, guys. Yeah. Check out the channel with fishing grills. What's the bait? In this corner. That looks like canned sardines or something. Bruh, some big ones. Oh, look, right here. Look, there's a little fish right here. I call it a zebra fish, but I don't even know. Tilapia. <laughs> sick of baby. Is it a baby tilapia? I don't know. Yeah, the stripes are kind of different. There we get some mountain apples. Right, this is Bula's first mountain apple. Sweet and nutritious. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Sweet. Mountain apple, baby. Juicy. Fresh off the tree. Mm. Okay, let's check it. Not a lot of pressure. Check them, check them. So it passed me on fork. Oh, the thing feels good. Ah, oh, hot. It's a moment of truth. Oh. <laughs> nice. She's ready. Okay. We need our first taste tester. Go get him, Pygo. Oh, yeah. Tell me, that's tell me how it is. They think this thing is edible. I need some of everything. 
video up as well as the Oh, sorry. Fricker is hot. Mmm. How's it? One, two, ten. Mm. Love them. You can't remember. Lalo and fish for dinner. Yep. Oh, yeah. Smashes butter fish in the water. Action. Action, he says. Okay, let's go. Let's go in. Gotta make sure. Make sure. Oh, that's good, bro. See what the fish. Oh, see the fish right there? See the, see the pink right there? Some of the vecula. What is he about the pink? Ooh. <laughs> so oh. Oh, no. Oh. So oh, no. The fish actually stays moist. Yeah. With all the fat from the pork belly. The flavor of the fish kept through the whole way. And it made a perfect balance of everything. I'm so oh, go get him, Tyler. Go get him. Try, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. I'm recording and I got the potato. Yup. <laughs> Good one. Oops. Good stuff. Bro, that is good. All melted together. Just right. You bite. Oh, that's the So, what is this tray? This is a kapaku iai. Translation? Like, literal translation is like food board that you. Oh, board you hit food on. Oh. What's the word again? Kapaku iai. Kapaku iai. Yeah, this was a gift to my grandparents from one of my papa's best friends. Nice. This, this thing is like old then, huh? Older than us. Nah, no. I think um they got it like 2010. Oh, older than you guys then. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ooh, that's the one. That's the one. So super simple. And then the Kohima I was talking about, literally like right where the Kalo and the Corn or the corn and the the stem the stock is called the ha. So right where the ha and the kalo meet, that's called the kohina. And then you're gonna cut a little bit under the kohina. And then this is what you'd replant into the ground. And then I was supposed to get the root system right there, yeah. <laughs> oh me. So yeah, I gotta save this to replant. Food. Yep, that's where my comes from. So this is the ones he just pulled from his patch. We're just gonna cut off the stems and we're gonna use these leaves to make a couple more laulos with the ingredients that we have right now in the cooler. We have the vecuula, we have some pork belly, and some sweet potato. So we're going to chop these stems off and then start wrapping. Stay tuned. We're going to finish up the Lao Lao's over here and throw them in that. Boom. Shoot his paw. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's make this some chocolate ready. Let that steam a bit. 
Oh, soft. Let's change. Oh. You know, the biggest one is cooked through. You should yeah. be good. <laughs> Roger. Run away. So after the taro is done cooking, um, you're gonna want to get all this skin off. And it's really simple. You just take a butter knife or a spoon, or you don't really apply too much pressure. But yeah, you're just gonna want to scrape off all the stuff you wouldn't want to eat. This board and your stone wet at all times. Just cause if not, all the taro is gonna start sticking to everything. So yeah, you're just gonna use the rock to break up the taro at first. It's gonna be slippery. Don't mind it. Try not to break through the taro and then hit the board. All of the big chunks up and then once you get like a nice paste then you can start really pounding Fifteen minutes to get to this. Yeah you're gonna do your yeah, own. It's track. a lot of love, a lot of labor, but on all the chips. Bula approved. Bula approved. <laughs> You said you're separating the two varieties. Variety. Variety. <laughs> <laughs> but, variety. Variety. Varieties. So, but, no. but, 